Good morning. So yesterday I was watching a little bit of uh, Friends. You remember Friends, the series from 20 years ago? And um, it was an updated interview on the actors now. And Chandler, who is, I think his real name is Matthew Perry, was explaining how his self-confidence got totally shaken during the whole 10 seasons because he was known for his stupid jokes. And so if the audience didn't laugh at his stupid jokes, that would mean he wouldn't he didn't do a good job and over 10 seasons which is you know quite a few years he slowly built that dependence on the audience's reaction to get approval on his own acting style and he was explaining how this became extremely unhealthy because then obviously in normal life what happens you keep that habit so i just want to raise your awareness on that because we do this without realizing you know, I mean, Chandler, like, you know, Matthew Perry is an accomplished actor. He, not only did he do Friends, he did many more movies. He's got a nice presence, a great actor. And yet he got caught up with this. Right. So imagine how caught up we are with that. Every time we ask people for approval, approval of our decisions, of any dilemmas, of any doubt, because when we become dependent on it, that means we're increasing our level of self-doubt. We're increasing our level of very low self-esteem and low self-confidence. All right, so it's great to ask people for advice, but don't make it a habit. Like it's just a bonus. It's not your crutch that you rely on. All right, because you have it all inside you. You have all the answers. You can tap into your intuition. You can listen to your gut feeling. You can tap into your memory. Your memory is your biggest warehouse of all your experiences, of all the challenges you've gone through and all the challenges you've overcome. And you are today where you are today because you've overcome so many difficult situations. So how come we forget that? So this weekend, if you have time, please, I really suggest make a list of all the challenges that you remember since your childhood everything, all the difficult situations that you've overcome. All right. So these are your, this is your list. It's your personal experiences, but it will act as a reminder. It's very precious to remember our own worth based on our own experiences and not based on what others say about us or react about us. You know all of this, right? But by keeping your list somewhere where you know you can refer to, it will just act as a reminder of your capabilities, your skills, all the potential that you have that we tend to forget because we get shaken up so easily. All right, a little homework for you this weekend and let me know how it goes. Ciao, ciao.